Unraveling the fabric of language. Made of whole cloth. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that might seem a bit puzzling at first. Made of whole cloth. This expression has a rich history and offers a fascinating glimpse into the art of language. Let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your conversations. The phrase, made of whole cloth, refers to something that is entirely fictional or untrue, something fabricated without any foundation in fact. Imagine creating a garment from a single piece of fabric, without any seams or stitches, it represents the idea of creating a story or an explanation that is smooth and uninterrupted by truth. The origins of made of whole cloth are quite literal. In the past, cloth was a valuable commodity, and a large, seamless piece was especially prized. Over time, the phrase took on a metaphorical meaning, indicating that a story or idea was as fanciful as a vast, seamless piece of fabric, implying it was crafted from a single, unbroken piece of imagination. This phrase is perfect for situations where you need to describe something that is completely made up. For example, if someone tells a story that seems too good to be true, you might say, that sounds like it was made of whole cloth. It's a way to express skepticism or doubt about the truthfulness of a story or claim. To help you better understand how to use, made of whole cloth, here are a few examples. The rumors about the company going bankrupt were made of whole cloth, they are actually doing better than ever. His alibi was made of whole cloth, as the evidence clearly showed he was at the scene of the crime. The concept of flying cars is still made of whole cloth for now, but who knows what the future holds? Made of whole cloth is a powerful phrase that adds a layer of depth to your language, allowing you to describe falsehoods and fabrications with a colorful expression rooted in history. We hope this exploration has enriched your understanding of English idioms and expressions. Until next time, Keep weaving your own fabric of language, and may it always reflect the rich tapestry of your thoughts and experiences. Happy learning!